Greetings. Now I will show you how to install, start up and maintain, a Burnit Magna with a Burnit Pell Mega Burner. The burner is mounted to the fuel door of the boiler. Optionally you can order a mounting flange which allows you to open the door freely. The burner connects to the control panel with that plug. Now I will show you the menu of the controller. Press and hold the F and enter buttons to enter the service menu. First we see the software and hardware version of the boiler. The service code is 00000012. From the first menu we adjust the cleaning cycle parameters. Set the time for the fan to work which should be 300 seconds. The second parameter is not active here. The next screen is also not active for Pelmega. From the next menu we set the number of retries for ignition. And the time for the first feeding cycles. Set the values to 1 and 40. On the next screen set the parameters for igniting the fuel. First set the time for which the lighter will work. And the time for which the fan will work. At the bottom line set the burner fan speed. Set the values you see here. On the next screen we can set the temperature of the boiler, at which the burner goes from maximum to average, and from average to minimum power. For example if we set here 4, 3 and 2, and the maximum set temperature of the boiler is 85. At 81 degrees the boiler will go from maximum to average. The same way it goes from average to minimum. On the next screen we adjust the burning process at full power, take those values from the provided manual. On the next screen we adjust the burning process at average power. Again use the manual to set these values.
On the next screen we adjust the burning process at minimum power. Again use the manual to set these values. On the next screen we adjust the burning process in suspend mode. The burner goes in that mode when it reaches the maximum set temperature of the boiler. The purpose of that mode is to keep the burner flame without raising the boiler temperature and to prevent the burner from extinguishing. On the next screen set the time for the suspend mode. From the next menu set the cleaning of the burner during work. On every 60 minutes for a period of 30 seconds the fan will work on 100%. We advise to use these values for all Burnet Mega Burners. On the next screen you can set when the burner to stop and self clean. You can set from 1 to 6 cleanings per 24 hours in exact time. The minimum number of procedures is 1. On the next screen activate or deactivate the devices connected to the boiler. The central heating pump. Domestic hot water pump. And room thermostat. On the next screen choose how to control the boiler. It can be by the boiler thermostat temperature or the buffer temperature. If the second option is chosen the boiler may still stop before the buffer is heated to the desired temperature because it will reach its own maximum temperature. From the next screen you activate or deactivate the components of the burner. The inner feeder of the burner must be activated for Pelmega. The self-cleaning system is deactivated because we don't have one here. If the thermostat option is checked we have chosen the thermostat to be normally open. If not checked we have chosen normally closed thermostat. On the next screen set the ratio between the auger of the burner and the external feeding auger. For example if we set it to 300% and the feeding auger is set to 10 seconds. The auger of the burner will work for 30 seconds. To make sure all the pellets go to the burning chamber set 300%. From the next menu we can set the conditions for ignition and extinguish. In this case when the light sense registers more than 120 for more than 20 seconds, the burner goes to normal burning mode.
when the fuel auger stops or the light sense register less than 100 for 40 seconds. The burner goes to extinguish. On the next screen set the maximum temperature of the boiler. Next few screens are testing menus. The first one tests the fan of the burner and you change the speed with up and down buttons. Next menu is not available on Burn It Pell Mega. On the next screen we can test the outputs. FF is for the fuel feeder. BF is for the burner in the feeder. CH activates central heating pump and the light on the left. DHW activates domestic hot water pump and the light on the right. EGN activates the lighter of the burner. CM is not active. Now we have to calibrate the auger. Plug the auger directly to the electricity grid to fill it with pellets. Wait for 30 more minutes after the pellets start dropping. Empty the plastic bag and again plug to the electricity grid for exactly 5 minutes. Now enter the values for maximum, average and minimum power. At maximum power we enter 5.1 seconds. At average power we enter 50% of the maximum so 2.6 seconds.
At minimum power we enter 30% of the maximum so 1.5 seconds. Now we can proceed to ignition. Switch from standby to auto mode. When you see the flame symbol on the top right corner, the lighter is activated and the auger is transporting fuel. Wait for the enlighten of the light sensor to go above 100 for 20 seconds. So the burner goes to normal burning mode. The flame symbol and the number 3 shows the burner is at maximum power. Now I will show you how to clean the boiler. Open the top door and clean the flue pipes. Clean all the pipes using the provided hard brush. To clean the burner open the revision cover and pull the grate. Use sharp object and a hard brush to clean all the holes. Finally clean the ashtrays.